good morning again boat lovers it is an amazing morning it's about eight o'clock in the morning the last two days have been stonking hot but today Saturday the Sun's out it's crisp and clear absolutely beautiful morning you can probably hear a little bird in the background this morning I'm going to reinstall that last bulkhead that I put in I had a bit of trouble with the the hull of the boat bowing a little bit because I only have it supported on the sides instead of down the center as well and with all the timber and things that I put on the hull I didn't realize it had actually gone out of shape a little bit so I've put some supports under that clamped it all back into position taken off the last bulkhead that I put in place cleaned everything up and this morning I'm going to check that I've got the hull nice and level and then re-glue that bulkhead into place I'll show you the uh, situation, turn the camera around and have a look. Okay, so that's where the bulkhead was. And here it is now, ready to install with that piece across the bottom, which completes the bulkhead. And that is where the saloon floor will be. So that bulkhead's gonna go back into place where it was before but now I have the hull nice and level I'll show you what I did there hopefully we can see under here we've got some clamps in place here these two 90 by 45 beams running across clamped on both sides and that has pulled the hull back into a perfectly level and perfectly straight surface which is what I need of course and I'll be doing that all the way to the back of the boat so this morning, I will get things cleaned up here and then glue this bulkhead back into place. And then later today, my neighbor is coming over and we are going to put the bow thruster mechanism into the bow thruster itself. So that is really exciting. Finally, I'll get that installed and I can proceed with getting all the paneling and all the, the big stuff done. So very exciting. Before I start, I thought I'd show you outside. So you can hear these cockatoos going crazy. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> they are so loud. Wow. Oh well. The cockatoos are quietening down. Oh, I better get back into the shed and put that bulkhead in. <laughs> oh, not the most graceful birds, that's for sure. But uh, but they are beautiful. Right, I'll get all these clamps off, tidy up, and get this bulkhead glued into place.
yourself, you've got glue on your hands, and you need to adjust one of these clamps. Very easy, uh, one-handed, just like that. Just give it a spin around, and you can adjust it that way, or to do it up the other way, and you can adjust this here, so just like that. Another useless tip. <laughs>this hull up straight as I say I put the two 90 by 45 beams across underneath with the block in the center and the clamp on each side to pull this hull up to take the bow out of it and I found these clamps worked really well for that they're the uh, quick grip clamps they're really strong they're expensive but they do a good job so I bought six of those yesterday and um, yeah, they're working really well, so I don't use them a lot when I'm epoxying because I don't want to get glue on them, but um, no, they do a great job. Before I glue this bulkhead into place, I just need to sand off any excess glue so I get a nice clean surface then I'll wet out the end grain of the ply give that a good soak and also across the bottom of the hull where it's going I'll wet that out and make up a good gooey glue mix and get this thing glued in place work where I'm just ripping bits of glue off, excess glue etc. I'm using these Diablo 40 grit discs which of course are really aggressive but great just for getting rid of excess epoxy. So um, yeah they certainly make quick work of the sanding. Happy with those. <laughs> leveling up the hull. I'm confident that I've got this nice and straight now. So this piece of wood here is the same thickness as the chine that runs around the edge. I'll show you that. Well, there's the chine that runs around the edge and this piece of wood is the same, exactly the same thickness. So I put a straight edge and then I put this chine there so we can see that that's perfectly level across there now. Exactly what I want. Before, there was about a five to 10 mil gap in the middle where the hull had dipped down. So I've repeated this process of putting the beams underneath and clamping everything to get the hull straight all the way along. I've got clamps and beams about every 1200 and I'll make sure everything's perfect as I put these bulkheads and any framing into place. And of course, once all the glue's dry, everything will be locked in, into position anyway. So the whole idea of this type of construction is really to form a honeycomb effect. So everything supports everything else. All the furniture, all, all the beams, everything that goes in place becomes part of the strength. So basically by creating that honeycomb effect, you get a, a three-way strength factor all around. By doing that, we also create waterproof cavities 
which I will be going into a little bit later as to what I do with those. So, onward and upward, let's get into it. Once again, doing my dustless glue mix in the clip lock bag. I'll cut the corner off. It should be able to make a nice bead along there, ready for filleting. Even though this is dust free, I still wear my mask while I'm mixing the glue. I do not want to get the glue dust in my lungs. No thank you. Okay, that bulkhead's back in place. I'll leave that till dry until tomorrow and then get stuck into the next bit. I'll show you the finished result. Of course, as usual, I will sand these back, glass tape them, and put larger glue fillets over the top towards the end of the job. At some point, I'll go through, sand and tape all my joints and put larger glue fillets over the top for strength. And then of course, following that, another sand and then some filler which is easy for sanding and good for painting. I may be able to put the filler in place just before the glue is completely set which saves a lot of sanding but that's down the track when I've got lots more framing in because I'll, I'll spend a week or two just sanding, gluing, taping etc. All right that's it for me for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning again, boat lovers. It's a beautiful morning. I'm up early this morning, about 7.30 a.m. And uh, it's a really lovely temperature to be working in the shed. So this morning, I'm going to be reinforcing the hull with a series of honeycomb sections. So I'll show you where I've leveled the hull up ready for that, which I did last night. So hopefully you can see there I've got clamps running along the side with supports underneath, pulling everything into perfectly level and flat. So I've been running a straight edge across and checking everything's level. And I'm going to be cutting a series of 180 by 12 mil by 2.4 slices or pieces of plywood to run along the hull I think in 450 spacings and that is going to act as a honeycomb structure to lock everything together and to support the actual floor itself. There's the first one in place running across the bulkhead there. So I have a bunch more of those to do. I've done a little bit of tidying up in preparation and so now I will get into the cutting process. Lots to cut, lots to trim. Better get started.
wet out along the exposed grain of the plywood and then glue this piece into place. get this glued into place with a good strong fillet. I'm going to put this first one in down here because I can fit my straight edge from here across to the next one. So when I fit the other ones in between, make sure that I've got everything perfectly in line and level. in place nice and straight again with my set square and then once that's dry I can run this green straight edge from the top of this across to the next one and then line them all up and get them nice and straight well it's the next morning and all my framework is ready to install so I'm going to wet out the edges of all of these run my glue along the right places there and get all these frames leveled up and into place that's pretty much all I can do today is just get these all glued and let them set until tomorrow and everything will be held in place. I can take all my clamps off and then I'll continue framing down the rest of the hull. I'm going to start with a syringe to run the epoxy along the end grain. That seems to be working really well and doesn't make much mess. And then I'll make up a nice gooey glue mix to uh, glue them into place. Uh, let's get it done.
That's the syringe I'm using, and that's worked really well. Just run me along that top edge and uh, let that really soak in. Now I'll mix up some glue and get these put in place. Hey, good morning everyone. Thought I'd give you an update on how I went yesterday. Getting all these frames in. I've done from the back of the wheelhouse right up here to the start of the galley. So I'll continue this today. These are all dried overnight and everything's lovely and plumb and level. So I think I'll, I'm not sure whether I'll continue on today or whether I'll put the honeycomb spaces in. I'm gonna put five spaces. Framework down there, framework down there, down here, down here so that will leave five cavities the central cavity I'm going to leave accessible the outside cavities will be filled with flotation foam not really for flotation the main thing is if there was ever any water intrusion I want the water from the outside to find its way to this central cavity because that's where I'll have my bilge pumps being a flat bottom boat the water of course doesn't go to a low spot so I have to create a low spot or at least I have to create a path so the water is forced to go to that place. So that's the plan. So maybe today I might start putting the compartments in, getting all that ready. And then of course I have to tape everything off, extra fillets, coat everything with epoxy before things get sealed up. Actually, as I'm explaining that, maybe, maybe I should do the taping before I put the compartments in because then I can do nice long straight runs of tape that'll make it a lot easier. So today I think I'll just continue on till I get down to the back of the boat there. After that I'll do all the taping and then compartmentalize everything into the honeycomb framework. Then we'll be putting the floor on and working up. That's my task for today.